Thanks so much for the opportunity. My name is Ken Church, and I am president of a company called Inscript. Many people don't know who Inscript is yet, but one day they will. See, Inscript follows the trends that electronics is going. And while most people don't realize electronics has been moving and transitioning from one genre to another, from one state to another, the next one to come is called disposable electronics or printable electronics. And that's where we ride. A tidal wave is coming, and we plan on being with that tidal wave. You have to be very careful because one of the things that can happen is you can get swallowed in all of that. Printable electronics, the idea of spraying down materials, the idea of printing down materials, and because of how you print or process those materials, they're now functionalized. In other words, can you imagine going to Walmart one day and you see a screen as big as a wall? You say, cut me off part of that screen and they're going to cut it off, put it in a tube, you're going to take it home, unfold it, paste it on your wall and plug it in and it's your new television. And how do you do things like that? Because you take large pieces of plastic and you spray down the right materials. Can you imagine taking materials because you've sprayed them down, you cut them up, that you go out and you can now identify anything, anywhere? In other words, let's go back to the Walmart concept. All the tags that are out there, all the items out there have tags on them. You walk into the store and they know when it's been in, when it's been out, when to reorder. How big a market is that going to be? Some are estimating over $300 billion annually by 2027. We're here to ride that wave. We're here to make a difference. We've been here for almost five years and we're proud to call this home. We're excited about that. And I've got to tell you, when you're out there looking, you're looking for a place to go as a technologist, and that's what I am. And I can't help that. But as a technologist, you're looking for people who want to do technology. You're looking for people who want to make a difference. People who can create jobs and the kinds of jobs that they can create that pay high wages that people want to have. And where are you going to find that? There's only one place to find that, and that's in high technology. What state will do that? Well, there's many states out there and they're courting, but I got to tell you, when we started looking around the Florida high technology corridor, that was interesting to us. And you start looking at that and you look at the attitudes and the ideas and the kinds of monies that they're putting in. There's a lot of things that came with that. It's not just the money, but it's the relationships with the universities. And we had already been working with the University of Florida, University of South Florida, and the University of Central Florida. We have many projects with these people. We're going to continue our projects with these people. It's about relationships. And the relationships we have are not just with universities, but it's also this state. And it's this corridor. It become very important, and we are moving in the direction that we need to. And I've got to tell you something else. We're not a stingy bunch of folks. And I mean that as Floridians. We're not stingy. We're going to go out worldwide, and we've got the experience to do that. And that came from within Florida, and the help is here, and it resides here. So it's not just the technology, but what can you do with the technology, and how do you transition that out? High Tech Florida Corridor, it's right here.